Hello and welcome back to the Chromecast at the Rising Moon. My name is Elaine and on this channel I do active magic, candle magic tarot. I do astrological readings by the sign by the month for love and for career. And then I also do this pick a card readings with divine messages. What wish is about to come true? What is going to manifest in your life? We have four piles and a pick a card presentation. Please concentrate, see which one calls out to you. Please do not pick my piles by, I always pick one, two, or three. It does not marry well with my particular reading style. Stop, concentrate, see which one kind of stands out to you a little bit. That is the thing that will tell you whether or not there is a message here for you. Keep in mind, in general readings, it's pretty much impossible to have a message for everybody, but take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Remember, timestamps are in the description box down below, and I will see you at the time of your reading. Welcome back. If you chose pile number one, and then this is your reading. Hey, we've got a nine card predictive spread coming from the Nordic Magic deck. Uh, the cards are a little bit bigger. I'm going to try and keep everything in frame. This has been pre-shuffled. I'm going to take this top card, stick it in the middle, <laughs> and I will shuffle again on camera. But we're going to get going with some Oracle cards. As usual, if I feel called to get more from particular decks, depending on what the reading reveals, that's what we're going to do. All right. So this is what you have to overcome as you try to manifest things. These are the things that you are leaving behind, the issues that you have worked on. If you are trying to manifest something, this is something, an area of your life that you need to take a look at. And it is about allowing heartbreak to heal. And beyond a certain point, it really is about allowing it to heal, allowing yourself to release the disappointments and the pain of the past. Remember something that is behind you can no longer hurt you. And we, if, if we all, Empaths have emotional memory, so you may struggle a bit with that. Weeping wound is you are more, not your wounds. Please remember that. No matter what has happened to you in the past, even if like 90% of your life has been very, very difficult, it does not mean the rest of your life will be. Things can change as we heal. You've been coming from a place of trauma when you get this card. When you heal it, when you are free, when you are whole, when you are finally healthy, just wait for the miracles, for the manifestations, for the wishes that will come true. If you're still working on healing this, know that you can heal. It is within your control. There is no, no emotional wound so grave that you cannot overcome it with the love of the divine, the love of friends, and the love of self. All right. Here we go, this is the energy behind the manifestation, which is celestial assistance. Yo, I practice celestial and angelic magic, so I love seeing this. If you are attracted to me as a reader, then it's likely you have the aptitude for this as well. It's very difficult to learn it. It's, there's not a lot, it's an innate knowledge. I do have to get around to teaching it. But celestial assistance, angelic messages, guidance, and enlightenment, you have divine magic on your side in this. And it differs from some of the other forms of magic um, in how it is practiced. It cannot be used for baneful magic. Please keep that in mind. You'll, you'll get very strange results if you try and use celestial and angelic magic to accomplish baneful purposes. We're gonna put these guys down here so they quit falling over. All right, here we go. You also have shine from within. That would mean that you are a light worker. This is a time of activation. It is a time of flux and transition in the greater world. As the world settles down around you, look for things to come into alignment around you and for things that you have been working on, perhaps working on quite hard for the last couple of years to start coming into fruition. If you were held back, it was to allow this weeping wound energy to heal. You did have celestial assistance. Remember, when we are in one moment, we see things from that perspective. But the reason that sometimes we are held back and the divine seems to be almost thwarting us is that we may not be acknowledging the work that we need to do. We may not understand that there is more to our trauma than what has been revealed to us as of yet. This is a card of shine from within. Looks are only skin deep. True beauty shines from within and it's time for you to shine. This is a time of self-acceptance and for revealing your true beauty. Remember, you are more than your wounds. And again, remember, love yourself, no matter what you look like. That is a divine vessel. It is here to bring divine light, divine love, and divine magic into this world. You are exactly as you are meant to be. Always love yourself, see yourself as the divine does. Okay, this is one of the energies that's going to be helping things manifest, and it is 
the hunter. Oh, this is somebody who just goes out there and get it. This is the drive, the success, the momentum behind success as well. Hooray. Love that. Uh, Whispering Woods is renew. Nature continuously renews itself year after year. Get ready for that. And what does it mean? It means it is a time of great renewal, transition, and change. Things are coming to you after a period of difficulty and healing. And then I have self-care. Tend to your garden. Every single here, here, and here. Make sure self-care is one of your priorities as you head into 2022, but you're heading into a time of renewal um, and of essentially understanding why you were almost like in a critical care wound for a while. <laughs> like you, you really, you had a lot to overcome. And if it felt like you couldn't make the smaller things that would distract you or make you feel better happen, that was because they, they weren't going to let you go with a Band-Aid any longer. They wanted you to truly heal. And throughout the course of the lives of people who are trauma survivors, quite frequently, they look for the smaller things to assuage the pain, to make it feel better. Um, there is nothing that beats core and complete healing. It is re the resolution and the release of issues from the past, understanding that that which went into making you does not define you. It just helps you understand yourself. Let us get going. What is group number one going to manifest? What wishes are about to come true? What magic is about to land in their life? Oh, I'm excited about this. One and two, and we're going to go on three. And three. I never know if I'm in camera frame or not. I clearly got an overhead tripod. I've been having a little bit of fun with it because absolutely everything technical breaks um, or does not come complete for me because that's something I do with the magic that I do. A lot of magicians suffer from this. Um, it's held together with packing tape on one side. <laughs> right out of the box. I was like, okay, innovative solutions. Here we go. Queen of Wands in reverse. This is the area. We're going to talk about the above and below energies. Seven of Cups in the upright. The world in the upright. I have the Nine of Pentacles in the upright. Hooray. Nines are one of the reasons I'm doing a nine card spread is nine is one of the cards of manifestation. It is individual power. It is individuality. It is purpose and it is individual and independent drive. I have the emperor in reverse. Well, you've been overcoming abuse, quite frankly. Um, likely emotional abuse, potentially physical as well in your background, dating all the way back potentially to childhood. It has influenced the relationship choices that you have made in your adult life, attracting people who you were attempting to heal your damage and trauma through. And we all do that. We all do it. Don't feel like, oh my gosh, I screwed that up somehow. Nope. Everybody does it. You had celestial assistance on your side to isolate you so that you could have self-care, so that you could renew, so that you could become the powerful acquisition master that you truly are. Fooling the upright is a leap of faith, new be things beginning. Five of Pentacles. Guys, this is the overall energy of the world. It has to be a little bit clear by now that we are heading into a time of flux in the first couple of months in the year as we have some more disruption around the concepts of things like COVID. Um, be very, very careful. Take very good care of yourself. Yourself, prioritize your health and then I have the tower in the upright which is divine intervention I'm always joking with people that I am the tower because I bring epiphanies to people and that's this is the card of epiphanies this is also sudden change you have very good energy here and it comes out with the king of swords Excellent. So the King of Swords is a card of clarity, of truth, of understanding. It is also the card for, one of the cards for the Archangel Gabriel, because this is the chief spirit of air, which is what the Archangel Gabriel really is. Just as Raphael is actually the guardian of water, Uriel is the guardian of fire, Michael is the guardian of earth. The uh, Christian religion named them with these particular names. I've always gone by Gabriel for what I'm attached to, which is the spirit of air. So what is coming to you is a change in your overall set of circumstances. Things have been very up in the air with the Seven of uh, Cups in the upright. The, eight, the Queen of Wands is a frustrated person. Nothing's happening for her, and it is not gender specific, by the way. The Queen of Wands is a manifester and a leader. In reverse like this, you have been held back by, from the things that you have been asking for. The world has gotten in the way with the greater situation. You have been gaining your independence, potentially recovering from self-care um, is one of the things that is a cure for codependence. Independence is the only cure for codependence. This is the card of independence. We have the Emperor in reverse, likely abuses in past relationships, potentially 
actually, again, dating all the way back to childhood, but you are beginning again, the new beginnings card with the fool. I love the fool's energy. It can be interesting when I'm reading people who aren't super familiar with tarot to understand that the fool is not in any way an insult. The fool is brand new. The fool begins again. The fool leaves the past behind. That is what is happening here. You have gained your independence. There is a greater state of anxiety and potentially ill health because that is one of the meanings of the Five of Pentacles in the world overall. It is bringing to you a great change. You are one of the truth bringers. You're going to be able to see with clarity and you are a leader as well. What is manifesting for you is potentially greater wealth. Let's start getting on here with some other. We're going to move on to the Magical Messages deck. What is going to manifest? What Wish is coming true for group number one. Let's see, one and two and three. Let me move this out of the way so I can put this guy over here. There we go. All right. We have be yourself. The situation calls for you to be your authentic self, which is the basis for your personal power. Hey, group number one. If you are in my collective, you are one of the healers. If you are in my collective, healers don't just deal with energy healing, with manifestation. They are leaders throughout the world helping to kind of realign things after a state of disruption. So, you have a role to play in rebuilding the world around you, your voice, your ability to, you've always been able to see very clearly for other people. You get a little, I'm trying to get a dog hair out of there because what, I'm all surrounded by dogs. Um, what, what's happened is that you have doubt around your own abilities sometimes. You can, and it has to do with having been undermined since you were really kind of a small person. But that said, when there is a crisis, it's almost like you're, you may have an anxiety disorder, but it's almost like it leans in and is a boon to you. Like the things that hold you back sometimes, when the worst starts happening, and I'm not saying the worst is happening, but I am saying it is a time of change. But when things are disruptive, it's almost like it leans into, oh, finally, it's go time. I know what to do, like all players on stage because you function very, very well in a crisis. And in the past, you used to function well in a crisis, but you would repress all of your feelings so you'd be almost like um, in like a combat survival mode. And then afterwards, you'd essentially have to have a little bit of a nervous breakdown in order to heal. It's completely normal. It is part of complex PTSD. A lot of people who suffered uh, ongoing childhood abuse, it can be bullying as well, um, uh, frequently have something called complex post-traumatic stress disorder. It differs from regular post-traumatic stress disorder in that it is related to multiple events over the course of years, leaving you with a feeling of no escape. The reason that this becomes important in recovery is understanding that you're perfectly normal for the circumstances that forged you. You can heal, you can overcome, understand what went into making you, and you can understand what can go into rebuilding you in a stronger, more confident shape, one in which you are your best ally, one in which you no longer look to exterior sources to validate you or to give you self-worth. That is who you are becoming. That is who you are becoming. That's what's manifesting in your life. Great self-confidence, the ability to know what to do as the needs arise. You're going to have people looking to you for your abilities to function within chaotic circumstances. And you've always had that because that's a little bit your jam. Like that, that's the ground you walked upon with your very first steps. And that is the ground that you will find that as you have healed, your ability to overcome crisis, your ability to handle changes around you, now stands on a completely different foundation. It stands on the foundation, the healthy foundation built through self-care and renewing yourself that will allow you to finally step into your true power and who you are meant to be. Ghost lands, that's the thing from the past. I have goblins, more trauma from the past. It's also fear. And then I have come together and I have rescue. All right, you're part of the rescue squad. You are likely a healer. If you are in my collective, you are almost certainly a healer and you are a light worker and you can manifest. If none of this describes you, I may not be the reader for you and that's absolutely cool. There's wonderful readers out there on YouTube. But in this particular collective, I have a lot of high level manifestors, people who are developing their psychic gifts, people who are light workers, healers, light commanders, You've got a job to do in the coming reorganization, the coming restoration of making things work emotionally and then practically as well. This is not just about the woo-woo crystal world, which I love it because I dwell in it and it's a wonderful, wonderful place to be. 
I so obviously believe that there is so much more to this life than what we can see. And you would as well. You are part of coming together in a slightly shattered world to help with greater problems. All of the things that you see being wrong with the world, you have gained the confidence, likely through some time of frustration, having to learn to deal with that, having to learn to stop looking to exterior sources to heal interior wounds, which is part of what happened. That is part of the reason that you were blocked on almost everything, is that you were looking for an exterior source to make you feel better, to distract you from the wound that is at the very core of you, but you've gone back, you've healed your weeping wound, the ghost lambs and the goblins, and now come together and rescue. What is manifesting for you will bring you, it looks to me like you will be really quite well off at, by the end of it. Like you will be, and remember, if you are working your purpose, if you are living in your purposeful energy, you are taken care of at the need you, at the level you need to be. Meaning if you're somebody who's like, yeah, I just don't groove on material stuff, I don't care, you might end up in a camper van but be completely happy. But if you're somebody who's a little bit like me, where you're just kind of a giant human house cat and you're like, no, I want a really comfortable bed and very nice sheets, then that level of opulence, that level of luxury, that level of abundance will be what you experience. What you need, what you want will come to you. You have a great deal of power within your own life. You've never really felt that way about yourself, but you're coming into a time in which that will be your defining characteristic. We have property, a property purchase or sale for many, but heed security concerns in any transactions. Okay. That, this is a very good real estate card. It's not coming for a little while. And by a little while, I mean closer to the end of 2022 than the beginning of it, but you're gonna be super duper duper busy. Like sincerely, everything, it, it is just, I don't know how to say it other than, again, it is time to get your feet underneath you. All of the things that you have been practicing, all of the things that you have been strengthening, all of the belief in self that you've been trying to build up, there's a time for it now. And what you're manifesting is, let's go for the fortune card, what's going on for group number one, who is in a beautifully restored and rehabilitated energy. And you, it, it might have been unpleasant <laughs> at different points where you're just like, I just, I, you might have given up faith. You're on the other side of what is called the, oh, there we go, coffin. Natural endings abound. Take care with your health. Please heed this. Please heed this. Please heed this. Listen to medical scientists. They do know what they're talking about, okay? Um, coffin, natural endings abound. Take care with your health. And we want one more. Devil, take care immediately to avoid temptation and deceit. Be very careful. Be very careful with your overall well-being for about the next eight weeks or so, after which your role in some coming times where, again, we're going to need clear, concise voices on things. And you've taken this time to really build up your confidence in yourself. All of the dreams that you've had, all the things that you thought might have slipped away from you are now becoming possible. And the difficulty that you went through in the last about two years or so, where it felt like everything was five times more difficult than it needed to be, was never about a punishment. It was about helping you to learn to have faith in yourself rather than faith in unseen forces taking care of you. Like you, you're, you're somebody who can have very touching faith. But remember, the faith is genuinely, if you believe in all things, we have loon, intuitive, listen to the song in your soul, trust your intuition as you have a way of knowing, emerge from the busy life and seek more solitude, recognize that you are unique and that you are loved. Okay, so it may have felt like, it almost felt like the, like the divine pieced out on you. Like, you know, echo, 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 is this thing on? And it had nothing to do with being abandoned and everything to do with making you turn your focus onto self-reliance and faith in self, because that is where the divine really resides, in your ability to overcome. You don't need a fairy godmother. All you need is the power within and belief that it is yours. All right, intuition. Your intuition is gonna be so, so very on point. Listen to your gut throughout. There is a lot of, like the, the practical parts of this particular reading are telling you there is gain with the Nine of Pentacles and the property card. Rescue with come together, you have a role to play in a world that is reshaping itself ever so slightly in a good way. 
in a good way. Now, can it be a little disruptive as it comes out of the gate with this tower energy? Yes, yes it can. But you are looking like you're a safe person. Remember, this is a general reading. It can't possibly hold true for everybody. But the cards here are very good about clarity, truth, surviving, being able to speak your truth, being able to lead, and having the things that you have been hoping and dreaming about come into being as a possibility. If it really felt like all you did for about two years was just push and push and never have anything yield, you're gonna find out why that was. It was so you could have resilience, belief in self, and the knowledge within that you have always been the solution to your problems. Sun, the golden energy of the sun brings fame and fortune, okay? So, hey, group number one, what is coming to you? Monetary ease after a difficult time in the greater world. After that difficult time in the greater world has resolved, what you will be finding is that your confidence in self, your confidence and your belief in self has really been built up over a difficult time period. All of the self-healing that you did, all of the, it, it really, the, the hard part about this is there's some energy here with this emperor in reverse and this queen of wands in reverse. This is what you've been trying to overcome. To get to here, the world, unfortunately, has a bit of a problem. There's a great change coming in your financial circumstances, but it looks excellent. It looks excellent. Everything that you went through will give you the confidence of knowing that no matter what calamity overtakes the greater world, you are a survivor. You are a survivor. And you are not just a survivor, you are a triumphant survivor at this particular point. What is coming to you? You are going to be finding that everything that you have been in search of, everything including financial fulfillment, a, a feeling of purpose, a feeling of connection at the level that you want it, is available to you. Trust your own wisdom. Trust that there has always been a divine plan. And know that what is manifesting for you, the wish that is coming true, is financial freedom and ease and the ability to speak your truth, live in your truth, and lead as you were meant to in the field that you have chosen. Okay. All right, that was your reading group number one. Hey, please don't forget to subscribe. It does help my channel. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you like the reading and if you want to book me for a private reading, there's a link to my website in the description box down below. I have somewhat limited availability, but I do have, I love reading from the people for YouTube, and I hope to read for you. Take care. Be well. Welcome back. If you chose pile number two, then this is your reading. The pre-Raphaelite deck is going to be bringing you a predictive spread. I shuffled this slightly off to camera, sticking that guy in the middle. We'll shuffle again before we pull a predictive spread. Let's get going with this reading. What is about to manifest for you? What wishes are about to come true? Let's find out. Hey, before I get started, please don't forget to subscribe. It does help my channel. If you like the reading, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. And if you want to book me for a private reading, there is a link to my website in the description box down below. I, genuine, I generally have pretty limited availability at the present time, but I love to read for the people from YouTube, so it's always worth a look on my website. Okay, trusting tricksters is what you have been trying to heal. This is the Lantern Oracle. I started, thought I'd start out with a good news, bad news scenario. This is the thing that you had to heal in order for your manifestations to start coming into be without any kind of blockage. Trusting tricksters is the trickster's only power is your trust. You are always free to withdraw it. Listen, I want to explain something. If you fell for something from somebody in the past, and God knows I did, like my, my ex-husband turned out, he like never ever tells the truth. I had no idea. He lies constantly and I just didn't pick it up um, because it's, he, he like doesn't have any tells on it. That can happen. Remember, if you do not perceive it, it is because you don't possess it. So if you were fooled by somebody, if you invested all of your trust in somebody and they betrayed that trust, that is not a flaw in you, it is a flaw in them. And it is because you have more purity in their soul than they do. Don't beat yourself up for simply believing in goodness and know that other people do possess it, even if you have had tricksters in your life. Re-establish your trust. Don't give it to absolutely every person that you meet. Know that it is there and available after it, has, it is earned. Have 
extend it to the extent that you can while keeping yourself entirely safe. That is part of having good boundaries. But over the course of time, someone may earn your trust again. But don't go into every situation thinking that whoever this is representing, that that person is present in other people. That's giving them way, way, way too much power over your future. Let them go. They're part of your past. All right. Okay, let's keep going here. This is going to be one of the energies that is helping you to do this, the orphan. <laughs> All right, your ability to stand by yourself. The orphan stands alone. The orphan does not have a big family structure on them, and I don't. Remember, family is not just of your blood. It is the tribe that you form. If you are part of this collective, you are part of essentially a star family. Everybody here, every part of this collective is your family. You are not alone. You are very powerful. Whenever you feel isolated, remember we are sprinkled everywhere. We are connected. We've had very similar experiences. It's why I can read your experience with such clarity. I've, it's very similar to my own and very similar to all of our tribe members. You are not an orphan, but your ability to stand by yourself and to face the difficulties that you have by yourself has made you stronger, more resilient, but you are not excluded. You have many who are like you, and you have connection and affinity, and you are strong and you are powerful. All right, here we go. We have idle hours. Take some time out to lie on the emerald grass. Listen, you've got some time ahead of you that is going to be very, very busy, and you have to make sure you have a good work-life balance. Like most trauma survivors, because I attract almost exclusively some trauma survivors because I am one, um, like energy attracts like energy. And so if you've survived a lot of trauma, you can think that it was only your efforts that made you safe. It wasn't. You've never been alone. You've been connected. We are all connected. You are not by yourself, and you do not have to wear yourself down to a nub. Allow yourself to take appropriate care of yourself. You're a powerful person, and other people need you. Opportunity. There's no use looking for luck. It arrives in unexpected times. You don't have to do everything. And this, by the way, is saying that one of the things that is going to manifest for you are luck, lucky chances, good fortune, things turning in your favor. Wisdom, psychic intuition, and truth. Okay, this is the power behind what is manifesting for you. You, like everybody in my collective, you likely have an innate ability to do magic but have not tapped into it yet. I will get around to having a Patreon for magic classes eventually. I need to get my subscriber count up a little bit before I do that. Um, this is your innate personal power and all of the things that you have been through have given you the lessons that you have learned have given you great wisdom about yourself, about others, about what to do and more importantly sometimes what not to do. All right we have oh my gosh here we go come together. <sighs> Fairies like to be busy and a group of them is showing you that many hands make light work. Working as a team helps get the job done. Do not forget you're part of a greater divine collective. Here to do a job in a darkening world, you will bring light, you will bring rescue, ease, the, the part that people, you will, your, your, sol, your source of solace and light. Please don't forget it. I know you've been believing, I know you've been hurt, but it's not because of your worth. It is because you're powerful enough that opposing forces in this energetic world tried to limit you. You are winning. You are not limited. You have everything that you need at your disposal. You have you. Believe in yourself. Always talk to yourself as the survivor, as the warrior that you are. And what is coming to you? Apparently a lot of opportunity to help draw people together, to give a voice in a time of difficulty. Okay, eight, <laughs> this is the card of wisdom. Eight of pentacles in the upright is about learning le uh, lessons and uh, carrying forth the mastery from them. So we're gonna take a nine card spread because that is the card of individual power. And we're going two more times, one, and two. Love this deck. It is not a beginner deck. I really don't recommend it for beginners. Um, eight of Pentacles in the upright. The Fool in the upright. I have the Queen of Swords in reverse. Eight of Wands in the upright. That's a channeling card. This is a card of progress, messages. Uh, you will be receiving more and more divine guidance. Nine of Swords in the upright. I don't think that's a bad card this time. It's not. Eight of Cups in reverse. So this is returning to oneself after going on a spiritual journey to find more, to find fulfillment, to find the answers. 
Um, the Nine of Swords can be about greater fears and not being able to sleep well, but it can also be about dream communication. So let's see. We have the Four of Wands in the upright. Yep, that is the 11-11 card with the Six of Swords in the upright, leaving a difficult situation behind. Um, it can be... This is one of the few literal death cards in the tarot, but I'm not really... Seeing. There's a time of renewal in the greater world. The Empress is loves life and bring things back to life, is able to create, is cre able to have tremendous abundance. This is the birth of something new. There's a time of renewal coming to you. Your creativity will be on fire. You have enthusiasm. Everything that you've learned, you will finally see the reason for everything that you have been through. You will finally understand that it was never about beating you up for the sake of beating you up. It was about helping you understand how truly powerful you are. There are a lot of divine messages coming to you. This is a message card. This is a channeling card. The, uh, this is a strong stability card. It can be a twin flame card. It can. Um, this is moving towards a peaceful time, a peaceful resolution. The reason that this can be a death card sometimes is that they're technically in most depictions on the river sticks. But it is also turning your back on the difficulties of the past. The 1111 card is, of course, free and open communication with this Queen of Swords and the 1111 right underneath it. You are receiving greater guidance from beyond. Make sure that you are grounding out because your root chakra still suffers a little bit. Every time that there is, you will have a slight resurgence every now and then of that feeling of, I cannot do this. Remember, that is not your voice. That was the voice that was tattooed into your consciousness by somebody who, and they might have met well, or they might simply have been taking their pain out on you. That is not you. That is not you, the resilient part, the part that always like peels yourself up off the ground, sticks yourself up on your feet, and keeps going. That is the true you. That is the true you, the person who overcomes, the person who perseveres. You are stronger than you believe yourself to be, and everything that is coming to you is great progress. Um, I want to get some cards on like other things here too because there is an opportunity to find like your essentially your family, your feeling of rightness, your feeling of connection. Oh my goodness. Yep, here we go. So solar plexus, third chakra, Archangel Shamuel. We have the healer of the ages. That is you. You are likely a healer. If you are in my collective, you are part of the healers. Angel of Love is self-care card, but it is also extending love to others. It is also extending light to others, and it comes with adjacent possibilities, and we're going with the garden and the gate, too. Okay, so there are many opportunities coming up for you to find out where your natural abilities lie in helping others and in helping yourself. I like the energy around this. It's not very money-focused, but it may be that money is simply not a concern for you because I don't have any cards of deprivation either. The only thing that you really struggle with is you struggle with trusting yourself sometimes because your trust was too betrayed in the past by someone who is looking essentially to diminish you. What happens to very powerful people is that people who are trying to exploit them have a tendency to find them and to use their gifts for their own gain. And there are also people who simply take pleasure in hurting other people to make themselves feel powerful. You may have had that in your past because I have so many people who have suffered kind of significant abuse in my collective. Um, again, the more powerful you are, the more powerful the opposing force that comes to challenge you. Keep that in mind. If you're like, why, 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 why did this happen? Why did that happen? It was not a punishment from the divine. It was partially that there is a counterbalancing energy and something that was trying to stop you coming into a more powerful time of your life, which is now. Everything that you have learned will give you the swiftness, the certainty, the strength. You will sometimes withdraw into self as people turn to you for answers. And your fears will kick up again. Remember, you are incredibly loved. Whenever you need guidance, all you need to do is ask for it and it will be given. And don't, don't think that you can, it may come to you in different ways. Just always simply ask, I need help, I need encouragement, I need a path, I need a light. Say that, repeat that. It, it won't necessarily come to you in visions during meditations, but the messages will be received and you will go towards peace once more. You, this is my favorite card because this is a manifesting card and we're talking about any type of magic read. So that's the perfect card to get, particularly you're manifesting a great healing of yourself and others. Remember, 
When you are living in your purpose, this is purpose energy. All of this is a purpose energy. When you're living in your purpose, everything that you personally need for your comfort, for your ease, for your happiness, will come to you in terms of your physical circumstances. Your emotional ones, these things come to us when we are ready. Goodbye to the old, hello to the new. You've finished one part of your life and a, now a new and even better part is beginning. It is gonna feel as if a door has firmly closed on the past for you. And what is manifesting for you is that feeling of renewal with this fool energy, loving life with the empress energy, feeling peaceful at essentially your command. Like you'll be able to tap into this divine energy with the four of wands. You'll be able to receive the messages that you've been asking for when you need them, whenever you feel gu need guidance, whenever your fears start to overwhelm you with this nine of swords energy. All you need to do is ask for guidance, ask for help, and give it that little time period that it needs. If it's not instantaneous, if you have learned anything through this sometimes difficult journey, let it be that you may not get things in the method and the ma manner that you are asking for them, but you will always find the guidance that you need when you need it. Here we go, let's get, get a fortune cookie card too. And as usual, I stand up and down the whole time that I'm doing this. It can freak people out in real life when I'm reading them in, in person that I, I'm on my feet the entire time. All right, here we go. All right, luck. <laughs> a sudden change of luck is likely. Things are working in your favor. Excellent time for networking. I like that, that's that come together energy with opportunity as well. Do not be tempted to work too hard. Do not be tempted to deplete yourself. Remember, this is a general reading and it can't apply to everybody, but essentially it is the time for you to step into, take all of the lessons that you have learned, and you will be helping other people with them. Here's the thing. Why is it the go time for trauma survivors? Because the world's got something traumatic going on. It's been going on for a couple of years. It's about to get a little bit worse for a while. And in the aftermath, all of the ways in which you've had to put yourself together will make you a leader in that aftermath. You are used to starting over again. You are used to having to stand up, sometimes a little bit bloodied and beaten, and sometimes that's gonna be literal, and sometimes it's gonna be figurative, and to keep going, and to keep finding a way to be happy, keep finding a way to go towards joy. That is a skill that you have learned that will be used in the greater world around you. You will bring peace to others with that as well. Your perspective is invaluable to people who have not had the rough road that you have. And you will stop viewing yourself as being afflicted and understand that, if anything, I was put in a position where this isn't going to phase you as much as it will other people because you're used to trying to cross minefields throughout the course of your life. I have love charm. Well, it's about time. Attract a lover, soulmate, or life partner. I thought that might be possible with the... Angel of Love cards. So let's go ahead and grab. Let's go ahead and this can be, by the way, a slightly shaming deck. <laughs> I like it a lot. It's very, very accurate. Of course, the very first time I ever picked it up, it spat out the addict card at me, which has the word codependent on it. I'm like, oh, well, booger, but also accurate. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we will see how it does with this. A lot of cards got flipped. I'm trying to get them straightened out. Here we go. Let's get a card for, there's still some that are flipped. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Here we go. Let's get a card for group number two, please. What's coming up for them? Since we just got the love card, I want to get some island wellness cards because it has the things that you might need to work on in order to bring you the love that you are hoping for. What goes with love charm? Sunglasses. Watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing, out. Interesting. And then I have keys on a ring. Many options, decisions, unconventional, string along, one night stand. Listen, everything's gonna have a positive and a negative meaning with engagement ring, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. Your divine partner is trying to come to you, okay? Um, it, if you're like, hey, I don't really want a divine partner, this is the part of the reading where I always say the exact same thing. The divine will never, ever force you to have a relationship. You do not need to worry about it. If you're watching this and you're like, no, no, I don't want that, don't, don't worry. Like, nothing will ever, ever be forced upon you. 
However, for the people who are hoping for love, there is a divine partnership that is available to you. It will be coming to you over the course of the next couple of months. As things, as the dust settles, as you find that in your world, you are very much an anchor, very much a voice, very much a guiding light. You are likely an earth guide if you are in this particular collective and particularly reading this particular pile. You have guidance, you have wisdom, you have things to say that will help others. Your time is coming for understanding why that is and what the function of it is. And what is manifesting for you is commitment, greater luck, opportunity, and a feeling of finally understanding. There's clarity around this. There's just clarity for you. With the Four of Wands, like you're good with the divine again, and you might not have been consistently. Like you might have gone back and forth on like, ah, oh, no, I absolutely trust the divine to, oh, screw the divine, the divine never delivers. Don't ever think that will be ever held against you. If you've had that reaction to difficulties, know that it's just part of your healing process. We all go through it. You will be tempted because you associate like effort with overcoming. You will be tempted to drain yourself. Remember, you have many options, make good decisions. You are not going to, you, you don't have the same viewpoint as other people because you have not had a particularly conforming life. You've had things that you don't tell other people about because it was upsetting to them so you learned to hide it. And now, more and more, the fact that you have overcome so much will be a guidance for other people. Sunglasses is watching, looking, stalking. Listen, I don't think that this is necessarily a bad card. You'll be focusing on others. You will be watching a situation. There is no stalking energy anywhere else in this, so I'm not gonna worry about that part. You may have an alternative possibility to the person that you may have been focused on in the past for a divine partnership. Remember, that's not a bad thing. You would fall just absolutely in love anyway. So if you hear that and you're like, no, 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 I only want this one person. You, you're, you might not be ready for your divine pairing if you think it's only one person is that possibility. Because the divine knows more than we do. And our higher self is part of what guides that. And also, quite simply, just accept that like, no, I'm pretty sure it's this person. But if it's not, no, I do trust the divine. And that's the place to get to when you're like hoping this is a twin flame card is part of the reason that I'm going into this. And a couple of these cards suggest that there is a difficult energy around trying to achieve union for you. And it's because of that orphan card, you may have tried to make your, your partnerships in the past serve the purpose of family and of friends because you don't have uh, a good family of origin. And re remember, that's fine, that's fine. You're never gonna be punished for not having family, but you need to always remember to have strong independent energy because unfortunately relying on one person means that they have a lot of power over you. So always look to self to solve your problems first. Always look to self for your own emotional support. It doesn't mean you can't receive unconditional love and unconditional support from other people. It just means that your primary source is yourself and then the divine and then friends or partners or and make sure it's a diverse group including um like particularly if you do something like this colleagues people who can understand all right coffin oh geez the last group got this too listen guys we're in for it okay coffin natural endings abound take care with your health please take care with your health please take care with your health we have moon pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead confidently what is manifesting for you is the world that makes sense with the experience that you have had. And it will bring you many wonderful things. It will also, because of the life that you've led up until this point, as other people are kind of running around going, no, 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 what's going on? You're going to be saying, I, I'm a little bit used to this. Like, I, I never feel, I always feel like I'm standing on quicksand anyway, so this is just kind of a little bit my jam. It's not gonna be anywhere near as bad as some of this is making it sound, but in the aftermath of some great changes, of some great shifts, you will be somebody who will have a more confident voice quite simply because you've had such a diverse experience and always had to be able to self-rely. You've always had to look within to try and overcome. You're a very, very loving person is part of it. And it's caused you a couple of difficulties in your past quite frequently. But you're coming together with others, your lessons, the wisdom card. There's many opportunities. 
be careful. People will look to try and use you occasionally, and you have to be a little bit careful about that. So guard your energy with this Idle Hours card is one of the cards of saying a good work-life balance. The Orphan card, the very thing, the isolation, that feeling that you have been by yourself for far, far too long, is actually the thing that will bring you everything that you've been hoping for. Remember, our perspective on our past can change when everything turns around. So what's manifesting for you? A complete and utter turnaround of your energy of the past few years, in which everything that felt held you back, everything that caused you difficulties, everything that challenged you, you will feel as if it was preparing you for a role that you are quite happy to play in most regards. And let us go ahead and we're gonna get one of these giant guys. I'm gonna try and sit down so it's not just directly on the camera lens because it's a big guy. There we go, let's get this guy going. Slightly impossible to shuffle. <laughs> I, I clearly collect decks and um, I do, there's some of them I just can't use with clients because I'm like, what are they gonna do with this? <laughs> I can't build a house out of it, it's giant. Here we go. Okay, let's get a card for you out of it though because it's a very good card about what your magical energies are. Giraffe, visionary, rise above earthly matters, oh my goodness. Glide through life with grace. You are able to see the right path. Stand tall in your self-worth and love with a big heart. You understand suffering at a level that other people might not. You, as a very sensitive person, and remember, sensitivity is not a weakness. It is an incredible gift. It gives us an ability to be astute, to have insight, to be resourceful in our solutions. Feeling things deeply is not about being weak. It's not. Feeling things deeply is about having tremendous love and compassion for yourself and for others. You will see, you will see why so many things had to happen the way that they did. But what's manifesting for you is a come together energy in which it's like your entire life's energy is being transmuted into a positive. Luck is coming to you, opportunity is coming to you, and the opulence that you need is coming to you as you step into your purpose. What's manifesting is your purpose, group number two. Okay, thanks so much for joining me. That was your reading. If you want to book me for a private reading, there's a link to my website in the description box down below. Like I said, I have somewhat limited availability as I work on some other projects and developing them. But I do love to read for the people from YouTube. So hit me up if you're interested. Take care, be well, and remember, everything beautiful is about to happen for you. Everything beautiful is about to happen. Welcome back. If you chose pile number three, then this is your reading. We're going to put that over there, so hopefully it remains clear throughout. All right, here we go. So this is the Mystical Moments Tarot. It has multiple kings for each suit. It's gonna have a female and a male king. I actually really, really dig it. The Nine of Cups, of course, is the card for manifestation. It's also the card for wishes coming true. We're gonna go ahead and stick that sucker in the middle because I did shuffle. I did the bridge shuffle off camera. Um, here we go, and I will shuffle more on camera. Let's get going with your oracle cards. Before I do, please don't forget to subscribe. It does help my channel. If you hit that thumbs up button, if you like the reading, that does as well. Hit the post bell notification. You'll know every time I post a video. And if you want to book me for a private reading, there's a link to my website in the description box down below. Group number three, here we go. All right, what's manifesting? Teach, inspire others, and let nature be your greatest teacher. A grounding energy right out of the bat. Let's go for the Lantern Oracle first, which is what you're trying to heal. Presence of absence. Hold what is absent in the presence of your love. This is a card of releasing your losses, of understanding that everything that has come to us came to us for a reason, trying to teach us something, trying to free us from the shackles of the past, trying to uh, show us the ways in which we are powerful. Remember, nobody else makes you powerful. You are a powerful person unto yourself. The presence of absence is releasing the grief, the pain of the loss of the past. I have share, the busy bee should still make time for each flower. You have a skill that you are being asked to share with others because it will help them learn the lessons that they need to in order to release their own pain and own grief from the past. You might also be a reader, you might also be a healer. This is a collective that has high level manifestors, psychics, healers, light workers, 
A time of transition is uh, apparent in the greater world, and it very much is the time for your purpose to come into being. If you've spent about two years going, I couldn't make anything take root. Nothing I asked for was coming to me. No matter how much work I did, I couldn't find the person, I couldn't find the job, I couldn't find the opportunity. It was because you had to be in the best shape of your energetic life for what is coming. You have a role to play. It is 100% your time and you needed to focus on you and that's why your personal life might have been a little bit scarce. It might have been a little bit like I spend way too much time alone <laughs> and it was because you could begin to believe in yourself, to heal yourself of the losses of the past, to step into the idea that you have something to share with others and to teach them through your experience because we are coming out of a time of loss in the greater world. That will be happening in the next unfortunately a couple of months. Um, I'm not, like, this is like pretty obvious by now. I will be releasing this on Christmas Day. I'm shooting it on Christmas Eve. This is a timeless reading though. Whenever you see it is the right time for you. And everything that you have gone through, the ways in which you have learned to become fully self-reliant, the ways in which you have learned to take command and control of your own healing is a gift that you can give to others. Okay. All right, here we go. And this is the energy, the magical energy behind your manifestation, which is majestic eminence, priestess, divine feminine, and worth. The nurturing, loving, caring of the high priestess, the feminine divine, is part of what is behind this. And you might not have felt that. Like, you might have felt like, love, don't you dare speak to me about love, because I have not known the real versions of it. Yes, you have. You have always been incredibly loved by the divine. More is coming to you in that respect. What is manifesting? Oh, a second group to get a wisdom card. Teach, share your wisdom, the things that you had to learn from your own past. We're going to have a bunch of people who are dealing with loss. They're just going to need help. And you're one of the people who can help them. If you're, in my, if you're in my collective, you're a very protected person, by the way. Wisdom. Have you ever been told that you're wise beyond your years? Now is the time to call upon your inner fairy wisdom to help you with a challenge. Group number three. Um, these are these decks are never talking about fairies. They, they think they are. They're talking about spirits of air, which work with angels and celestial beings. But fairies are real, by the way. It's just they're not depicted in these decks. The lessons that you have learned throughout your life will allow you to share your wisdom to teach others about overcoming difficulty and trauma in the past. And this is the temple. This is the energy as well that is helping you manifest something. This is a healer's energy. All right, so the trauma group, of course, is actually the healing group. And we did know that, or at least I did. Um, I think most of you do by now as well. And will you always have been attracted to this? No, and you might not be, like, it, it switches around. It just switches around at which point we're all processing. But we are all part of a family. We are all part of a collective, and we are all part of a tribe. And we have magical gifts, and we have healing gifts, and we have psychic gifts, and we are needed at this particular time. What is manifesting for you is the opportunity for you to step into your power to take everything that has ever happened to you and turn it back negative into a positive for others and for yourself. It will give you a greater feeling of connection to the divine and to others. Let's go, let's go, let's go. What have we got in our predictive spread? We're doing a nine card. <sighs> King of Wands in reverse. Okay, that is that feeling of not being able to make anything happen, which I think I just talked about. Let's go. I love these cards. Five of Swords, Conflict. Oh, it's been a hard fight. Wheel of Fortune in reverse, that feeling of everything being unfair. Ten of Swords in the upright, releasing things from the past, allowing endings to... <sighs> allowing things to pass through your life. Releasing that which no longer serves you. Surrendering to the divine will as well. It's been a struggle for you because, man, you had it coming and going sometimes. Knight of Pentacles in reverse, being very blocked. Page of Wands in reverse. Here we go. Nine of Cups in the upright with judgment in reverse. What is manifesting for you is your life's purpose. A new karmic cycle beginning, leaving the former pain of the past behind. 
Everything that used to hurt you will now help you understand what is happening in front of you. You will feel grateful for the trials, and I know you might not believe me right this very second, but you will feel grateful for the trials and the tribulations that you have faced because the inner wisdom, that feeling of resilience, and you know you can overcome in a way that other people who have not been as challenged do not. And then I have the Hermit in the Upright, which is a card of shedding truth on a situation. It's a card of soul searching. It is also a card of healing. It can be a card of withdrawing itself, but man, I am not seeing it that way this time. Let's keep going. We're going to get a Magical Messages card. Let's talk about these cards a little bit first. The Ten of Swords is allowing something to be over. Presence of Absence, Ten of Swords. Allow something to be older so that something new can begin. You have been blocked on multiple fronts. It has been incredibly frustrating for you, but one of the things you had to heal was your anger, which you are likely somebody who has struggled with emotional regulation because you had to repress your feelings likely around an abusive parent or in an abusive situation where it was not safe for you to allow anyone to perceive that you were being hurt or your feelings were inconvenient to them. So you learn to repress them and repress them. You're likely a very sunny and positive soul, but you know that occasionally you have these giant eruptions behind the scenes because you camp down anger and you camp down anger. That's what you've been working on, is learning how to recognize, wow, I'm really angry. Tracing it back to the source, not acting on it, responding, not reacting. You are no longer a reactionary person. That is part of the reason that you are blocked from so many things. You could not have embarked on another successful venture in a relationship, either in a business or a personal capacity, until such time as you learned that emotional regulation. Oh, we're going to get another one, but this is the exact same card that the last group got. Goodbye to the old, hello to the new. You've finished one part of your life, and now a new and even better part is beginning. Oh, yay, verily, that is so, so very, very true. I'm gonna get another card though. Let's go, let's go. If I sound a little wigged out, I knew this was the reading I was supposed to do today. And I've known for a little while, as several other readers have known and probably been talking about, that we are in time of sh shifting and transition. And the greater world will be a little bit chaotic for a little while, but for the people in this particular collective, you are so protected and everything will make sense to you in the aftermath. You will understand who you are, where you came from, and why, finally why. Admit your true feelings to yourself. Be honest with yourself. Only you know what it is that you truly desire. And then, well, we've got to do some research. You need more information about the situation. Look into it further before proceeding. Don't think you understand fully what this reading means until after we've gotten on the other side of it. I'm leaving those two out. I'll leave that one out there as well, just in case I need to refer to it. Time, so there's a time that is ending and a time that is beginning. And everything that you understand about yourself is so fueled by what is beginning. Let's get some energy cards as well. Something just fell out immediately. The temple path, your connection to spirit will be strengthening. Your ability to heal is the thing that is manifesting. Like you will find that, here's what happened to me in group number three, like every now and then I just have to use myself as an example because nobody else gets in any trouble if I use me as the example. For the majority of my life people would find me and tell me their troubles. And I wouldn't fully understand it, but something I said to them helped them release a burden, helped them be freed from their past pain. It helped them see themselves with clarity and sometimes overcome grief. And when I was not doing this professionally and I very much tried to hide from the world because I'm like the uber introvert, the people would still find me somehow. I needed to put myself in an area of the world where I could be found because this time was coming. You needed to go through a time period in which you were healing, healing, healing because your time is coming in your world and what you have been trying to do. You've been trying to remember, what is it? It's a purpose, not a profession. Now you might get paid for it and remember when you're living in your purpose, you'll get as much as you personally need to be completely fulfilled. So what's coming to you is everything that you need to be completely fulfilled. It is the time now. It is the time now. Door to Romance, well, thank God. First Chakra, Archangel, Michael, and then Caring Connections. Did I need to go on with this? So group number three, I know who you also are. You are also the group that has been asked, please don't try and seek out too many answers around romance for you. Romance is coming to you. 
your real person is coming to you. The love that you have always deserved is finally coming to you. But you were raw and you were hurt and you had been bereft too long. And now you are learning how to control your impulses, your anger, which is very much part of your personal power. Anger is not bad. It can be very self-protective. Now, it can be very destructive when it's allowed to build up to that great big blah level that so many very powerful people who have suffered so much trauma have been through. What is coming to you is your ability to heal others. You will be incredibly secure in a time of change and disruption. Your person's on their way. Okay, your real one. Let's not look into that too much, my manifestors, because I've gotten so many messages on, please, please, please don't overly pursue that. That's, first of all, going to be the stuff of personal readings. But secondly, don't get in your own way. Learn to trust. Learn to trust. So many things have come true. You felt your intuition in heightening. You have felt yourself becoming well. You, you know that you've had false starts where you're like, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. And then it's like, oh, God, maybe I'm not. Every time that something didn't work out in the time period that you had been asking it for, you grew to understand why that was. And everything that you have learned, you will be able to teach others. The wisdom that has been imparted to you through the difficulty of your experience. And by the way, the difficulty of your experience was not to teach you this so you could teach it to others. You were not the universe's whipping child. Opposing negative forces try to hold back those who hold the light. You hold the light. You bring the light. You are the light. Love yourself. You are the divine vessel that brings light and love to a suffering world. The world is going to need that. The world is going to need the guidance, the ability to understand how there can be positive things that come from understanding ourselves after emotional trauma. The strength that comes, we remember, like they're always saying, hey, you're so strong, you overcome so much. And people are always like, hey, you know what I'd like is for the universe to quit congratulating me on how well I take a punch. Listen, that's never what it was about. That's never what it was about. But you have learned that you are incredibly strong through the unfair circumstances that were inflicted upon you sometimes by an opposing force. What you have really been learning from that is nothing is taking me out. And you are, it's not about you will always be beat down because you are so strong. The strength that you have been building up, the it's almost like weight training. The burdens that you have been able to carry, you will be able to aid others with that ability. You will be unfazed as others feel very crushed because you're going to be like, yeah, no, I work with this all the time. My world has fallen apart so many times. I have glued it back together over and over. I am a master at putting stuff back together. And that's, what com that's what's coming to you, your true power, your true calling. What is manifesting for you is your new life. Cracker, positive energy surrounds you. Love, joy, and good fortune awaits. Everything that you've been through has caused you so, 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 so much pain. And you genuinely will never know how truly I have affinity and empathy for that. Do you know that there will come a time where you will look at this next chapter of your life as the part that made all of that make sense to you? And you will be grateful for your experience in a way that, like, even right this second, you might hear me and go, like, no, I am not going to be grateful for that. I do not mean the particulars of it. I do not mean the, the injury itself but you will be grateful for the knowledge that you possess that, no, I, I can overcome. I don't give up. God knows it feels like the world has tried to make me on many an occasion, but I don't give up. You are so protected. That's financial security as well. Let's get a fortune cookie card, temple, uh, your ability to heal. This is almost certainly the trauma group is always going to be the healers group. <laughs> Spoiler. All right, here we go. Yeah. Difficult times. Be on your guard against chaos or unforeseen perils or emotional upheavals are foretold. And we're getting one more for you, which is positive work outcomes. What did I just say? It is your purpose that is coming to you. Consistent efforts will bring rewards and a major purchase is worth making. Manifestations. All right, y'all. There are difficult times around you, but everything that you have learned about yourself, the fact that you know that you are not just a survivor, you can be a thriver. It will give you, it's almost like you're a veteran in a war that is just beginning for others. What is manifesting for you is your truest and greatest power and your ability 
to stand tall, even under a, bow, a, a burden. I'm, it's, <laughs> it, it's a, it's a I, I'm so glad to be a healer. I'm so glad to have a collective of so many healers. I know how much so many of us has been through. Your ability to understand pain will give you great compassion for others in a time that it is needed. All right, let's get going with the Making Magic cards. Here we go. I was joking with somebody who's also a reader. She, I'm, on, I'm on her podcast fairly often. Um, that she is a Marine drill sergeant and I'm the medic. And she's like, yeah, no, that's perfect. That makes perfect sense. Um, and you're the medics. That's who you are. That's who you are. You're the healers. We have one enchanted evening, the perfect night, and then little luxuries. Generate luxurious experiences and surroundings. All manner of luxury is coming to you as you want it. If you're like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm not really spa girl or guy or person, it will be in the form that you want it. The, if you need a bunch of money in the bank so that you can get up every day and feel secure, you will get that. If you need, like, you know, just... <laughs> the house of your dreams, the relationship of your dreams, the thing that you need to support you in your time of purpose is what is manifesting for you, group number two. Let's go ahead, I'm sorry, group number three. Let's go ahead and get <laughs> the giant, giant deck. As usual, I'm standing up and down the entire time. I hope it's not too visually distracting. There we go. I did obviously get an overhead tripod in order to be able to feature the cards just that little bit better and to not sit in such a weird position while I shuffle. There we go, here we go, let's go, let's go. All right. All right, Amazon interrupted us. Here is the first card, which is Coyote, Revealer of Truth, that is you. Don't take things too seriously, make time to play. Great wisdom comes from laughing at your own folly. My God, is that something I had to learn? Look out for the traps and tricks of life and learn from them. And then Keeper of Secrets, Lynx. Take time out from the world and be the observer. Nothing can deceive you when you trust your knowing. You see other secrets and keep them sacred. In silence and so solitude, you will find your strength. You had to be by yourself because you needed to know that you could be a leader. You had to be by yourself so that you could stand in your true power. Will you have to be by yourself going forward? No. But you will always need to possess the ability to withdraw into self to find your answers. Everything that has confused you in the last couple of years is starting to make sense. Everything that was taken from you is being given back to you in a better form. What is manifesting for you is absolutely everything you were promised. And it's been a long journey. And one of the things that you had to really, really learn, group number three, is patience. Patience with the pace of things. In the next few weeks, it will become very obvious to you why there was such a long preparation time for you who are a healer, who can manifest, who can do for others in a time of chaos and disruption. Let's go, let's go. Let's close this out with our enchanted map cards. What's coming up for group number three? One, and two, and three. Okay. Compass, that is knowing exactly who you are. Movement, uh-huh. Stuck in the mud. Stuck in the mud is being held in place until such time as we learn a lesson with education, yeah. And then wishing well, which is the card of manifestation. All right, in order for you truly to understand your true power, this is who we really are, our guiding star, our moral compass. Stuck in the mud with movement, nothing went anywhere until you could learn the true power within, until you really understood, no, I can be entirely happy by myself. It does not mean that you will be by yourself. You learned your lessons, and now everything that you've been hoping for, everything that you've been told that you could do, everything that you've been told you could manifest, everything that you told that you are, you are coming into the time period in which you will understand it. Say goodbye to the old, hello to the new. And this is the energy that you are stepping into. Once more, my group number three people who have thwarted your own outcomes more often than you realize because you're high-level manifestors, don't try to get too many details, okay? Just do yourself that favor. Let the universe surprise you. We ruin our own lives sometimes as seers. 
because we want to know all our own answers and we forget that sometimes delight is where surprise is, okay? So what is manifesting for you are some delightful surprises, but the life that you've been told, the life path that you've been told that is yours. The purpose of everything that you've been through is becoming clearer with each passing day. You will know your own strength, you will know your own power, and you will know true opulence and the love of the divine as you move forward. Remember, everything is purposeful. Your divine self always believed in you, and now is the time when you will as well. Thank you so much for joining me. If you want to book me for a private reading, there's a link to my website in the description box down below. Take care, be well, go forward powerfully. You are part of the healers. Welcome back. If you chose pile number four, then this is your reading. Hey, the manga deck, traditional manga deck, is bringing you a predictive spread. Let's get going with some oracle cards. Wow, this has been a very interesting read. Group number four, let's find out what is about to manifest for you. What wish is about to come true? Let's put number four over there. And before I get started, hey, please don't forget to subscribe. It does help my channel. If you hit the thumbs up button, if you like the reading, then that's helpful too. If you hit the post bell notification, you'll know every time I post a video. Let's go. Uh, broken dreams. This is what you need to release. This is what you're trying to heal. The Lantern Oracle is about the shadow work that we've accomplished. Um, only you can accept or reject your dreams. Now, what that could mean is that your dreams are starting to manifest. This has been a fascinating read. It's a little bit go time for a bunch of people in my collective. I don't know if things will be shifting and changing in the focus of what I'm doing, but this is like the last two years of this particular channel has been preparing the people who have been in this collective for a period of transition and change. So here we go. The power behind this is root portal, vitality, stability, and survival. And it's fearful as well. It's a root chakra energy. One of the things that is manifesting for you is the ability to bring a feeling of security back into your own life, your dreams apparently. Let's keep going with this because I think you've had to release some dreams and reinvent them for what is possible going forward, okay? I have the mystic, that is a card for people who are manifestors, people who have their own gifts, people who are drawn towards the more esoteric arts. You have particular power in helping other people find their security and vitality. I don't know if you're necessarily a healer's group. I just got the healer's group before you as well. Temptation. Are you in denial about an unhealthy habit, perhaps one that makes you feel guilty? The very fairy says you have the power to overcome temptation, whatever its guise. Here's the thing. That particular card is about things that block our personal power. My problem is sugar. <laughs> like sincerely, like, like most CPTSD survivors, I've struggled with some substance abuse problems. And it's not that that's ever cured, but like you kind of just remanage it towards what is helpful. So like exercise for me and diet, but my one great big vice is still like when I'm stressed, oh my gosh, candy, cookies, cake, nothing safe around me. <laughs> All right, you may also have that problem. If there is something that is your go-to for a stress reliever, remember a little bit is fine, but don't overindulge. Here we go, growth, because it's limiting. It limits your ability to connect. It's an inflammatory agent. Growth, the tallest oak once started as a seedling. Don't be afraid to start something new. I have a feeling that something entirely new is beginning for you that is based on the needs of the moment and it is not particularly clear yet. Listen, be alert, the soft, soft chiming bells call to nearby fairies. Uh, the call is coming. It has not quite, that's what's manifesting for you. The call to purpose, the call to what you will do in the coming times. There is a time of transition and of shifting energies around us. Um, we've all been a little bit prepared for it, I think. And now we you look for about March to be the time where you really are settling into, well, what do I do with this now? Let's go, let's go. Let's go for the predictive spread of nine cards, which nine is one of the cards for manifestation because it's the card of number of individual power. Work on any energy having to do with anxiety. Remember, 
<laughs> I said, indulge sometimes, but don't make it a way of life. All right, I have the High Priestess in reverse, which is clarity, the truth. It is a mystical energy as well. It is part of the feminine divine. Please get out of there. <laughs> All right, here we go. I have the Knight of Cups in reverse. So much frustration around my groups sometimes. It's because things took too long. Like, and it very much was a test of the ability to endure because we have times ahead of us that we'll call upon that. I have the Knight of Swords in reverse. And then I have the Chariot in the upright. After a period of blockage, there is movement. There is going forward. There is success and choices within business in, uh, in, in particular. I have the Temperance card in reverse. Oh, that's a greater world. Page of Cups in the upright. I have the page of, two of wands in the upright, I beg your pardon. The Knight of Wands in reverse, and then the Seven of Swords in the upright. That is a card of needing to tread carefully in a time of reorganization. Many things will not be working in the sector that you are working in at present. It will, you will be called upon to be a little bit flexible in what you, your expectations around I guess what I'm trying to say is what's manifesting for you is an opportunity to be expansive. Welcome it and know that it is a great gift. Things are going to be disrupted. Things will not work in the ways that you have expected them to in the past. Lean into that. Make it your power because it truly is. Let's go for a making magic uh, card. Make, I'm sorry, uh, magical messages from fairies. I got a tiny bit distracted because there... It has to be a little bit obvious we're headed into a time where um, public health is going to be of a greater concern again. Uh, you are part of a very protected collective, but you have a role to play afterwards in reorganizing things and getting things back into a working order, okay? And you're very organized. You were very much this lone wolf energy. I don't see that necessarily changing for you. You enjoy independence, but you have a role as a leader to play. Everything that has made you stand out, you will make you, it, you'll, you'll understand it about yourself. You need your own voice, you need your own clarity, and you need your ability to forge ahead without, like, consensus. You listen to you, and that's always been very helpful. Yeah, oh my gosh. Assertiveness. Stand up for your beliefs and only say yes if you really want to. I, bizarrely, I had not looked at that card and was very much talking about how the strength of your individual voice is one of the things that will help you manifest growth, the ability to overcome, uh, the ability to help people in a time of disruption in their own lives. But this is a very practical way that you do it. Like, I help people all the time, but it's also done in this very esoteric fashion. I look at a bunch of cards, I help them see into themselves, I help them see a path forward. Yours is more like you're, you'd, be, you'd have been a, a great like station master because you can keep the trains running on time. You have an organized mind on a level that other people don't, like they don't even suspect it, how, how truly meticulous your ability to keep information and to utilize it at the correct time is. Unity, mm -hmm. a time of divine understanding, renewal, peace, and hope. You radiate and attract great love. Okay. I love that energy, but you are a unifying force, helping people put things back together after a time of disruption. However, it's personally satisfying for you. You feel like the world is your oyster with this Two of Wands energy. The Page of Cups is greater happiness. You will be very surprised by how invigorated you feel by some of the opportunities and the choices that are coming to you make, that are making you feel. The Temperance card in reverse, unfortunately, is the card of we're, we're, we're in for a public health storm. I think everybody really does know that. Um, I had waited to do this particular reading until some things started to line up around that. Um, I did start talking about some COVID variants landing in November kind of a while ago. You are part of a collective that you have a role to play as we crest and finally start moving beyond that point in our history. Angel of Strength, that is the card of overcoming. You have a role to play in helping other people overcome their... Remember, this is going to knock some people sideways. It's not going to knock you sideways. Like you, like from the moment... Your spidey sense was tingling, oh my goodness. 
and has been for close to, I would go with about two and a half years. Here we go. Community, angel strength community, uh, helping your community overcome, find balance again, and security. You're, this is a healer's energy. You might actually work in healthcare. Um, or you work in like a nonprofit or something. There is disruption at a greater level. And what is manifesting for you is the opportunity to really take everything that is like you've been like accused of being nitpicky sometimes. Um, everything about you is as exactly as it is meant to be. All of the strengths that you have, you will understand why it has been like just such a focus in your life of always like you like things to be organized, you like things to be where they're meant to be, and you particularly like people to keep their obligations. Everything about you, your ability to step up and be the most responsible person around, you're just, you're, you're going to feel, like I, like I said, invigorated. It's the strangest thing. As nothing else works around you, because there's a breakdown in a system, I think, that you're used to working in. As nothing is working around you, you're the person who knows how to navigate that. This is leaving a difficult situation behind with everything that you can carry is another meaning of the Seven of Swords. Now, can it be lies, deceit, manipulation? Yes, but it's also the card of injections. It's also the card of, like, there's a bunch of meanings for the Seven of Swords. It's not just about, you know, somebody cheated on somebody. What it's about is a time of, it's a temporary situation in which you tread carefully, in which you are a lone wolf. <sighs> okay, be careful. Burnout. Your hard work will see results, but your health needs to be maintained. Everybody's getting a lot of health warnings. Take good care of you. Do not exhaust yourself. Your hard work will see results, but your health needs to be maintained. So check in with your doctor, dentist, and health professional and try to maintain a healthy lifestyle. I, like, please, 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 please take super good care of yourself. Wear your masks outside, good ones. We have a time up, leading up into, like I said, about the middle of February, beginning of March, in which there's a lot that's happening. Is it all good? Um, well, it will be in the aftermath. Change is always difficult. Communication. A reunion could bring love or a rekindling of friendships. A lucky win seems likely. Every battle that you go into, you're like, you're the secret weapon. There is a time, like, you, you just don't lose your stuffing very easily. As other people are like, oh my gosh, what are we going to do? You're like, yeah, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. That organizational, like, aspect of your mind, it's like you have spatial relations and you're just dividing things, do this, do that, and we're going to make it all fit together. Like, you've, you're, you're a good macro view person. And that is what is manifesting for you, is the ability to have everything that is part of you bring about the things that are important to you. I have happy love, a joyful, stable partnership, and good friends. Whenever I get this type of card, remember that can be community, the love of friends. It can also be the, the love of family. It can also be romantic love. The divine will never try to define for you what you are meant to have. Meaning, if you don't want that, then it will not be forced into your life. And I always say that because I have so many trauma survivors, and there is a stage in healing that's called extreme independence, in which you're like, nope, never again, learn my lesson, not letting it, nope, not getting hurt like that. That is completely legitimate, and nothing in this universe will try and force you out of that energy. But be aware that make sure you're choosing it for the reasons of I'm genuinely happy, not I have got my guard up so that I don't get hurt. Because living yourself in a defensive posture means that you are not participating at a community level. And living your life in a defensive posture is exhausting. Living your life in a defensive posture is also not truly trusting in yourself for the divine. All right, burnout though, watch that. There is something where, again, your particular skills around organization and putting all the pieces back together after they've been broken, there's going to be so much for you to do in so many different areas because other people, like, they, they I don't, people think things can't ever radically change and they can't. 
All right, follow the leader. Yes, that is you coming apart. There are some things that are not working. There are some things that are disassembling around you. And flying with that, that's macro view, greater perspective, and then encouragement. You are not alone, you're helping other people. You're, you're, you're like a reconstructionist, group number four. That is what is coming to you. The ability to have all of your gifts really have a time and a place. If you've thought that like, well, I'm not all that imaginative, I just really like, I can study something and I'm a beast for organization, guess what? That's gonna be a miracle for some people as we move forward. Your ability to have great patience with procedural things as well will also serve you exceptionally well. Um, I, this, is a, this, is, this is the only deck that did, uh, the only group that didn't get a bunch of money cards around it. It may be that that's simply not something that you're focusing on because remember when you're living in your purpose, this is very much a purposeful energy as well. You'll be taken care of at the level that you personally need. So you're not getting a ton of money cards, but you do have the woman holding a coin, which means that you'll be financially stable. Strength, overcoming, re returning things to a state of balance within. It's something about... Really, I think it might be healthcare of some kind. Healthcare or government structures. It's just, it's like a Jenga tower. And you're putting the Jenga pieces back together after it falls. Okay. And I don't have the tower card here. It is not destruction. It is just, like, it's like a machine that's missing cogs. And you're somebody who understands, you're a little bit of a, a life purpose mechanic, I guess. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, patience. Create a place in nature's stillness and be renewed. Take time alone to find balance. Step confidently towards your purpose. Patience will bring you rewards. Before I drew that card, I was talking specifically about that, which is your ability. You don't get frustrated in the same way that other people do. Now you can, but it's reserved for other areas of your life. You have a very almost like non-reactionary, like things that other people are like tearing their hair out, oh, I had to wait for three hours. You're like, I had to wait for three hours. So of course I logged into my account while sitting there and like you get things done. You just absorb the situation at hand and you work with what is available. And you don't push against it to be like, but why isn't it what I expected? Instead, you're like, I can take this mismatch and make something out of it. I can make a functional structure out of the broken pieces. And that is what is manifesting for you. And if that sounds like, hey, who the heck would want that? You do. If hearing this is not one of those, oh, thank goodness, we're gonna get things working again. I have been so frustrated by how poorly things have been working for so long. I have these gifts. It's funny because you have incredibly practical gifts, but you're also incredibly this mystic energy. You're very tapped in in the ways that work for you. Now, you're not a spirit guide messages type of human normally. Normally, you're the person who you go by your gut. You don't have to check in with divination tools very often. You're very self-guided. You're very self-reliant. You've been a leader your whole life and you've kind of known it, but you thought you're a little bit of an alien standing outside of everybody else. And instead, what you are finding is that all along, you are being built into the person who will stand in front of others and help them. <sighs> what else have I got here? This is the only pile that was a little bit like, oh, what is manifesting for you is a teeny bit of a challenge. So I'm going to get different cards for you. I'm going to get... I say, oh, pardon me. <laughs> Didn't mean to slam that down. I'm sure it's gonna have like bopped the camera too. I'm gonna get a sacred traveler. What is coming up for group number four? It's such go time energy for them. You just feel renewed, like 20 years younger type of thing. And listen, if you're 25 and you're like, I, I don't wanna feel five, it just means that you're going to feel vibrant and vital and as if your star is finally burning brightly in a way that even you can perceive. 
Because you think of everything that you can do as being very mundane. It's not. It's crucial. It's crucial in the coming time. Valiant courage. Take action with passion. You don't think of it that way. You really are a very, very, very courageous person. Like, courage is not about running into a battlefield and, like, bayonetting the enemy. It can be. But courage is about getting up every single day, facing daunting odds, and doing it anyway, over and over again. Courage is knowing that, like, even if I'm chipping away at this mountain, at least I'll make a tiny little hole before my time is done. That is courage. It is resilience. It is perseverance. It is not needing to see immediate return on your efforts to know that it is worthwhile. I have beginnings. New moon, beginnings. Yeah, we are starting again, oh my goodness, with discernment. You have to remake a structure around you in the coming months. It's all incredibly positive. It will be distressing a little bit for a community outside of you. You suffer very few personal disruptions. And in the aftermath, as some things that are pretty vital are not working super well, you're one of the people, and what does this mean? Is this a greater world energy? I believe so. But it could be a personal energy as well. Like, you know, maybe your company's having a reorg and you're like the only person who can like get the department going back in the right direction. Not entirely positive. I think it's a greater world energy in which there is a need to reassess and reassemble, and you're a reassembly master. And what is manifesting for you is a feeling of power, of rightness, of purpose, of strength, of focus. It will reignite your interest in life, which you stand a little bit outside of life a lot, and you just kind of watch it, and you're untouched sometimes. You care, but like you do feel like you are from somewhere else. But you kind of are. You're part of my collective, so you really, really are. Um, you're in a very slightly different group, group number four, than the rest of my healers. You are, you're basically grid workers. You hold everything together. That's what you are. Okay, then the narrative around star seeds and light workers is allegorical. What grid workers are, are the people who lay the foundations and make things work. You can transmute energy as well, and you're like a freaking computer with how you can process things. She who prepares, formulates, strategize, and devise. Woo! Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just so on point. It actually just gave me the chills. Group number four. You are a little bit sometimes over the idea of what manifestation is. Because when people talk about manifestation, they're usually talking about love and money and opportunity and like all of those things, you got to a point in your life where you're like, yeah, I just, I don't, it's not that it's not interesting to you, it just didn't hold the same level of focus. But there's a unifying event in which everything about you all the strengths that you have, including that thing that has made you a little bit separate, the thing that makes you feel like a, a processing alien sometimes, my gosh, are you going to, you're a little bit of a director of traffic in the times that are coming. And what is manifesting for you is quite simply the ability to make a difference at the level that means so very much to you. You've overcome, you believe in community and connection, even if you stand a little bit outside. You have a very balanced view. You're able to accomplish things. You're an assertive person when you need to be, particularly on behalf of others. You will assess. You will listen. You will be tempted, by the way, to not treat yourself super well. Um, you can be a little bit self-indulgent as a stress reliever. That is okay. Just make sure it's indulgence versus a way of life. I have no addiction cards around this group. And this all has to do with security issues, rebuilding the security for other people in a healing capacity. You have a role to play as being a, a leader, really. Again, somebody who is a reconstructionist. And if that sounds like, why would I want that to manifest? You do. If this is not resonating for you, this is quite simply not your pile. And that's okay. And if I'm not the reader for you, that's okay too. But what is manifesting for you, group number four, if this does hit, if this is your epiphany, is the ability to fix things. And that is one of the things that really bothers you, 
is all of the ways in which things appear to be broken sometimes. And you will stand in the ability to assert your, your strength. What's manifesting for you is a time of leadership, of strength, of guidance, and a time where all of your abilities will be like magic for other people, okay? All right, group number four, that was your reading. If you wanna book me for a private reading, there's a link to my website in the description box down below. Take care, be well, and remember, everything that is happening around us is bringing us to a better place.